Eruption of the Grindavik and the Hagafell uh, fissures probably was one of the fastest eruptions I've ever seen. The one that uh, was 100 meters and uh, actually invaded the northeastern uh, part of the Grindavik is finished already. The one which is 900 meters and is Hagafell flowing down toward the Grindavik, stopped by the wall is now almost finished 900 meters of it is not active just this vent is active and that will probably will die out up to tomorrow we will see about that later and uh, at the moment this is all that we have when uh, my colleagues in the coast guard uh, fly over this area and you can see that there are a few spots of the lava actually glowing and some fumaroles coming here and there and also some moss burning but beyond that nothing is visible from what happened like a supernova fast erupting uh, brightening up the morning sky in the Reckonus Peninsula and then a slicing through the defensive wall that we created to protect the Grindavik in two parts actually the uh, slicing and uh, bypassing the wall happened and after that, it just uh, flew along the lava uh, barrier and then just erupted, flowing again, spreading around the lava, solidifying, making a crust, and then through it and under it, lava flows. And this was probably one of the quickest. As you can see, I will play this part slower for you. So you can see this spatter cone. The beauty of it, look at the cracks, this all shows cooling and also some form of the lava tube is active somewhere there. So it's not completely yet over, but most of the activities died. This one looks like a kangaroo or Godzilla. And when you look at it closer, this is the one 100 meter one in which burned several houses in the Green Dubik. You can see the ruins of them. Looks like a dog, as if chewing on the houses that it actually burned yesterday and last night. And that is it, it's finished. And uh, the eruption in this part, at least, is not active. We don't see any advancement of the tongue of the lava. This is a basalt, the darkest material. This is the material you see on the Maria of the Moon, where the, you know, the basalt flood uh, has happened. Here, this is the most famous uh, feature of the Grindavik now. The big crack which went to the sports center. And the continuation of it is that crack which created that uh, fissure which burned the houses in the northeastern part of the Grindavik. We saw the rising of the ground, then falling down again. We are seeing rising. Magma is accumulating under it until the next time that the eruption is happening. But that will be later. It reminds me of the Krefla fires. This is going to happen many more times in the coming weeks and months and probably years. Let's wait and see. I will put that video for you to enjoy. What's happening to the Swartzengian Grindavik is not unique. We have a historical case for this thing, and I will analyze it for you. Uh, in the November, early November, 10 and 11th November, we had a swarm of earthquakes in the area from the Blue Lagoon or Swartzengi to the uh, Thorbjorn and the Grindavik. We had a rock fall, rocks from the cliffs falling down and the cracks appearing in the ground that we can see now. The result of the magma pushing under the rocks and lifting the land was this rock falls. We had the evidence for it uh, by the GPS data. Interferometry also showed us that the magma is accumulated under this area and is evolving, is gradually rising the ground. We had the extension also due to the uh, mid-Atlantic ridge being opened. The result of it was a fall in the Grindavik to the Blue Lagoon area and rise on both sides of it. It's practically a rift valley forming there. This rift valley has now gradually subsiding in the way of activity, but we have parallels to this in the Krafla volcano in the North of Ireland, in the Iceland, in the similar uh, setting when we had uplift and downfall, uplift and downfall between each eruption. Magma needs to accumulate between the big events that they don't reach the ground. We have a smaller event that gradually build up magma under the crust and then this erupts eventually. We had nine eruption events and 15 uplifts uh, 
during the Krafla fires. This was famous from 1975 to 1984. And this is all related to this activity by the pulling of the earth crust, stretching it, rising the magma because of the cavity created, magma rises, depressurizes, the gas bubbles forms, creates pressure, and eventually reach the surface. We are just at the beginning of this in the in the Green Devic and the Sorsing and Blue Lagoon area. A lot of things have yet to happen. This is just the first stage of it. It may happen tomorrow, it may happen in several months from now, but this will eventually happen. This is the event that we have seen in Krefla is going to happen here again, it seems.